Hello guys, so I'm back again with another update about Microsoft's new product that is Surface Neo. We will talk about specifications, release date and much more about it. So keep watching till the end. Microsoft is building a dual screen Surface PC that runs a brand new variant of Windows called Windows X that may be launching to the public at the last of 2020. Right now, information about the Surface Neo is light which seems to be a deliberate move by to keep fans interested and also not to give competitors a plus by beating them to market. So to keep everything at all in one handy place, we have covered up everything we know about the Surface Neo. Firstly, we will talk about the hardware of Surface Neo. Surface Neo is a device that features two LCDs that are joined together by a unique hinge design that enables the screen to be used together via multitasking or individually. It is designed like a book but are often used in many various postures like a laptop or tablet when needed also. The displays themselves are 9 inches each which totals 13.1 inches of screen real estate when both are in use together. When closed, the device is 11.2 mm thin, making both halves 5.6 mm when open. It is also 655 grams which is a little on the heavier side but adds to a general premium feel of the device. The device is roofed in glass which is a departure from other surface products that historically use magnesium or aluminium. The new also features a Windows Hello IR came upon along the top bezel on the left side of the device, also as a front facing camera to go with it. On the left side of the device are the facility and volume buttons with one USB-C port located near the hinge on the right side of the device. On the inside, the Surface Neo is rocking an Intel Lakefield processor together with an LTE modem for always connected capabilities. We don't know anything about RAM or storage at this point, although it's safe to assume it will be available in your traditional 8GB with 16GB RAM configuration together with 128GB and 256GB of storage. Surface Neo's hardware is just about done and isn't about to change between now and when it ships at the end of the year. The software side of things, the Surface Neo is running a brand new version of Windows called Windows 10X. This is a brand new modem operating system from Microsoft that's designed for lightweight computing and modern experiences regardless of the device. It guts legacy components and features which suggests everything from the window shell to the underlying operating system has been rebuilt with modern technologies. Windows 10X on foldable PCs features an enhanced UI designed with touch as a primary method of input. It has a minimized taskbar that may be swiped up to reveal your running and pinned apps, including the standard start and task view buttons. Tapping on the app icon from the either display while launch that app on the display you are interacting with and may be spanned to utilize both screens by dragging the app. There's a new action center that puts more emphasizes or quick actions with the ability to leap into specific actions for further control without leaving the action center at all. It is further designed in such a way that mimics a control center with notification housed above it in a separate box. The new action center includes things like volume controls, power options, battery percentage and music controls. Because Windows 10X continues to be Windows, it can run all your usual Windows programs including those from outside the Microsoft Store. Microsoft categorized the Surface Neo as a PC and as such will allow you to run those PC apps when required. But since Windows 10X is modern operating system, those legacy apps operate through a container. The container contains a stripped back version of legacy Windows 10 to power Windows 32-bit programs and places the application on the modern Windows 10X desktop as if it were a native app. Unlike legacy applications, modern UWP and web apps run natively on Windows 10X, Microsoft has been working hard to make sure there is no noticeable difference in performance between legacy apps and modern apps. Still there could be a tiny delay when launching a legacy app if no other legacy apps are running. Due to how containerization works, Windows 32-bit apps on Windows 10X are sandboxed and can't affect the overall system. This suggests programs that affect system files or partition hard drives won't be allowed. Surface Neo will also feature faster updates thanks to Windows 10X, with features updates taking less than 90 seconds to reboot once a feature update is prepared to do so. I understand that the Surface will ship with the 20H1 release of Windows which is predicted to be finalized in the spring of 2020. This is typical for a Surface device launching in the fall. All fall 2019 Surface PCs are launching with the 19H1 release, for instance. 
Now we talk about the Surface Neo accessories. In addition to the hardware itself, Microsoft also unveiled two accessories that pairs with the Surface Neo. The first of which is a magnetic keyboard that attaches to the display and allows you to tactile feedback. Just like on the laptop with a dedicated keyboard, the keyboard can even attach to the outside of the device, which is where it can wirelessly charge when not in use. The other accessory is the new Surface Pen which also wirelessly charges on the rear of the device. The keyboard accessory when attached to the display enables wonder bar that essentially turns half the display into an enhanced touch bar. You could find emoji, control functions and even use a virtual trackpad. Now we talk about the release date of the Microsoft Surface Neo. Microsoft has just said that the Surface Neo is predicted to launch holiday 2020 which suggests that Surface Neo is under a year from a public release. But the Surface Neo may be made available to developers much before that, possibly at build 2020 in May as a way to entice developers to update their apps to support new dual screen experiences. Microsoft says it will have more to share regarding the developer story for Surface Neo within the coming weeks. So this is all we have got for now. We will update you as soon as we got the further details about the Microsoft Surface Neo. Please press the subscribe button below. All the related links are given below in the description. Thank you for watching. Meet you in the next one. Peace.